I've got another five-star read for you. Amazon may have rejected my first three videos for my Amazon Influencer Program. And an update, yet again, from the fabulous Etsy. Please note the sarcasm in my voice. Stay tuned. Hi, y'all. I'm Martha, Miss Martha, Martha Teaches, Martha Reads, all the things. And I've got a few updates for you. First of all, I know you want to hear my update on the Amazon Influencer Program. And if you'll remember, you do have to get approved in two different parts. The first part is they, it's an automated approval. They look at your social media and look for interactions, comments, likes, all the, all the things. And I immediately got approved for that portion. But then you have to upload three videos, sample videos for the content reviews. And this is where once you get approved for this, Amazon then posts your videos on products and you get commission if people watch your reviews and then purchase a product, okay? So you really want to get approved for that. You don't want to just stop with the first, uh, the first step. So my videos that I submitted to get approved were rejected. And there was no feedback on that other than they do not meet video quality standards. And so I did a little research on that and that could mean a variety of different things. So I redid videos with different products. One of the things that I think perhaps it could have triggered a rejection for was that I showed the product barcode. I'm not sure why they don't want you doing that, but that's one of the things that I saw when I was doing research on things to avoid. So I redid different products and I'm crossing my fingers and toes that it works this time. I put a little bit more effort into these three, making them more polished, made sure the lighting was superb, made sure the audio was beautiful. Also, I did one of my sample videos in a vertical format and I did read that that could, while they accept vertical videos, they prefer horizontal. So I made sure to do all three horizontal. I showed my face in all three, which was another thing that I saw recommendations for. After you get approved, apparently the standards are not as high and you can have a little bit of leeway on what you do. So I redid them, I resubmitted them. So this will be my second chance and you get three chances. So fingers, toes, all the things crossed. I hope that I get in because I really want to be able to use this as a passive income stream as a teacher, especially in the summer, it could be a great thing for me. All right, I do have an Etsy update, but before I get to that, I have another five-star review, and that is Margo's Got Money Problems, or is it Margo's Got Money Troubles? I'll put it in here somewhere. I devoured this book. I started listening to it because I like to listen to something that's very intriguing but easygoing when I'm driving and we had a road trip. So I didn't really have high hopes for it because I hadn't heard people talk about it. But basically, it is a book about a young woman who gets pregnant by her professor, but it doesn't revolve around that because who been there, done that with books, and that's not what I was looking for for a fun, easygoing summer read. But it chronicles her journey growing as a mom, but as a person. And, but it's very lighthearted. She realizes that she needs an income stream. She hasn't thought about how keeping a baby is going to work and the hardships of finding people to watch a baby, daycare, babysitters, all of those things. And she has a strange parents, very interesting relationship with her dad, who was a former pro wrestler. She realizes that she needs a side hustle. Well, actually, she needs a main hustle. And she turns to OnlyFans. And it's very interesting how this seems to be taking place at the, the beginning of OnlyFans and TikTok and things like that. So it kind of explains to those of us who are looking back, we, we understand what all of this is and we understand how lucrative it can be to be on social media and become influencers. But it's, it's an interesting look back on how people doubted things like that at the beginning. But anyway, she starts to do this OnlyFans, but then her ability to parent has come into question because of her job. So there is some feminist issue underlying. But again, it is very lighthearted in the way that it's done, although it does tug on your heartstrings. It makes you feel very sympathetic, but she's a, she's a very likable character. And it is just a fun journey. It's funny. But it also makes you think there's some very highlightable quotes 
in there, although I was listening to an audiobook, so I obviously could not highlight it. I would definitely recommend reading that. I have got the author's previous book on a wait list in my Libby app. I can't wait to read that. I'm not sure if it's got the same vibes as this book, but I think it's called Knockout. So I'm, I'm interested to read that, but this was a fun read, an adult read, but a fun read at that. Okay. So Etsy update. Etsy is at it again. So I created a second new store because I wanted to do teacher related, downloadable, printable things. Okay. So I started out with banner letters that you can print and download and then cut out. And I just did this a couple weeks ago. So I, this is a brand new second covert store. I made my first sale and then Etsy paused my store. Etsy put my store in vacation mode because they said they wanted to give me time to make sure that I didn't get overwhelmed as a new seller. So now I have to contact Etsy if I want to be taken off of vacation mode. I can't go in in my account and do it manually. I'm considering just abandoning that store and putting those products in my first covert store that got a total of six, six, six sales over the past seven days. And keep in mind, these are digital products. So these sales are anywhere from $1.99 to $2.99. Okay, sorry, my arm was getting tired. I don't have my tripod with me, so I'm holding this. I upped my Etsy budget, my Etsy ad budget. It's now at $3 a day. And so I would break even if I made two sales a day, which I am not hitting. I am going to allow that ad budget to continue running at that upped rate for another maybe two weeks to see if it drives traffic because I have seen an increase in traffic. Sometimes this is how Etsy works where you have to just start the ball, the snowball rolling, if you will, and then the sales come in from there. Now, of course, going into quarter three and quarter four, sales are usually a lot higher. I do have one particular item that sell, that sells very well over the holiday um, season, especially Halloween. So I am going to definitely continue marketing that. Last year, I think I made about $3,000 on this one product. I'm not sure if it will sell well this year because like I said, my Etsy sales are have plummeted this year uh, with the same products, the same store. This is again, my covert store that I opened after Etsy shut down my store. So I will keep you updated and let you know how that upped ad budget goes if it is indeed driving traffic to my Etsy store and if I can get my sales up. Again, my sales this week were uh, six, six sales and I don't have the number of the total sale amount, but if I were to guess, it would be about $15 in sales, which means that I lost money because I am running Etsy ads that uh, total more than that. Isn't that great? <laughs> Not so much. At least I found a five-star read, you know? I got rejected for Amazon Influencer. I have my second covert Etsy store shut down. My first Etsy covert store is losing money. But if I've got a five-star read, that's all I need, right? Okay, subscribe to make sure that you stay up to date with my Amazon Influencer side hustle, my Etsy side hustle, my five-star reads. Hopefully, I'll have more. And teacher life starts soon. I mean, teacher life never ends because I've been at the school all summer. But school starts soon. And so I'll have less time to spend on these side hustles, which is why I want to get them rolling now. Anyway, subscribe, like, comment, all the things, and I'll catch you all later.